What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Reef from Recon channel. I just got some packages from Bulk Resupply. Let's open it up, see what I got. I'm just checking to see if I won anything. They got a contest going on. I didn't win. All right, let's get the rest of the stuff out the way. I got a booster pump for my RODI unit. It's a pump, power source, and cutoff switch. And some instructions. Put that all to the side. Let's open up the next box. And in this box I have the upgrade kit for the RODI. Again, just checking to see if I want anything. Not a winner. So let's open this bag up, see what comes in it. I got the housing unit, the membrane, some tubing, a pair of brackets, and a reducer. And I bought another membrane for the unit I already have up on the wall. So I'm going to attach all this to my existing unit. Let's get to it. Let's start off with the upgrade kit. Like I said, the canister, membrane, brackets, tubing. I'm going to use a little wrench to make all the disconnections. You also need a pair of scissors or a sharp razor to cut the tubing. So they're nice and straight, so you get no leaks. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the waistline, put it over here at the side, then I have to cut a black piece of tubing 14 inches long, use my razor, I'm going to attach it to where I disconnected the waistline, now I'm going to put the membrane inside the housing, I drop that gasket and make sure you put the gasket back in so you have no leaks. Nice and tight. Put my brackets on. Put the housing on. All the instructions are on the BRS website. I'll put a link to it down below in the description. So now I connect all my waistlines. Now move on to the next step. I cut two pieces of the blue tubing and start making my connections. Connect them into the two to one. And this is what it looks like. Really simple. Waistline goes down that way, down the drain. So let's get the pump on. That's the cutoff switch. Male and female adapters, they go onto this, the, the power source and the pump. First, you find the location where you want it in line. I just put it off to the side so it doesn't get wet. So the first thing I did, put it up, make sure it was level. I marked it, pre-drilled some holes, put in some anchors, mount the pump. Very simple. Screws not included. Cut the red line and attach it to the pump. There's a indication on which way the water flows on top of the pump. That's connected to the same thing. Cut the blue line at the cutoff switch. Then make all my connections, male or females, connect the pump, connect the power. It's all connected, got the power on, turn it on, and there you go. Just have to adjust the pressure. It's a way above 90. But look at the water. Faster than ever. Everything's set up. I also like to thank Bon Bon's Reef and Tundra's Reef for the new stickers to my sticker collection. Awesome. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.